Weight-wise, Kincaid has, has the advantage by a, a, a stone, nearly a couple of stone. Finley, of course, in the mid-heavyweight division. At 14 to 3. Kincaid is 16 stone, exactly. treatment to Dave Finley, the crowd here will be happy. For the next eight three-minute rounds, we'll tell him. <laughs> Complaining to his, his wife there. How quickly Dave Finley was out of there. says, whether he notices it or not, King Cobra has something to say. Barbados, 16 stone exactly. Secondly, round two. Again, a little bit of hold up at the start of round two because uh, the bell goes, but Dave Finley not quite finished with uh, the pep talk from his manager. No score, though, yet with seven to go. second round. Finley bringing out the big guns now, but he's got troubles because this is a heavy boy and a very strong man against him. It's very loose. It's a bit better with a headlock. Come on, ask him. Ask him. Johnny Kincaid won't think of submitting from there. 
that he's thinking much harder about him tomorrow. Just under a minute to go now in the second round. And the headbutt to the forehead by Kincaid. Well, uh, he also the punch and so did the referee. Then it's just about uh, 12 seconds to go before the end of round, round two. Round two, the first public warning to Dave Finlay. And there is first public warning. All sorts of complaints, of course, from Dave Finlay. To his wife or the referee or anybody who listen. Why a public warning for that? Because it was a punch, that's why. Reminding, just a last minute reminder as to what he actually wants him to do. Six to lane, round three. And here we go for round three. Kincaid waiting patiently at the center of the ring, as he seems to be doing most of the time here. Body check off the ropes. Picking his man up. The referee allowed it as part of the same move. If the follow-up move when the man is on the deck is quick enough in the referee's opinion, then of course he allows it to continue. It's got to be part of the same move. Peter Zakhash looking close for his old wisdom. <laughs> the back panel thrown across press. Mad at that. <laughs> Except maybe that. <laughs> no? uh, 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 over the throat. You better get off, you know the public warning. Been warned enough. A minute to go. Finley disappointed he wasn't allowed to stay there a bit longer. seconds and still Kincaid seems to be the wrong end of most of this and the second public warning for that follow up the third time he really should have learned by now eight seconds to go in this third round and two public warnings against Finley he hasn't got any more to play with Johnny Kincaid, I don't think he's going to get back to his corner. 
in this particular interval. We can't wait to get at this man who's two public warnings dishing out the dirt to him in the last round. Round four coming up any second now. Set to lay round four. Now, the packed crowd here at the town hall in High Wycombe that really screaming at Kim K to go in and kill this man. <laughs> but of course, he might be having a, a, he might a lot of weight advantages there on Kim K's side, but Dave Finley is a tremendous wrestler. And if he ever starts getting into form here, and finding his timing, she doesn't seem to have discovered yet. Kim K could be in a lot of trouble. Switch. But Finley came back so fast. And again, the back to the temple. Oh, lovely backdrop. And again, and a cross press to Kincaid. Holds the leg, makes sure the legs. And Kincaid has got it. In just one minute, 12 seconds, of round four. Kincaid, the first fall. In round four, the first fall goes to the red corner, Johnny Kincaid. Now the crowd really happy with that first fall by Kincaid. And over in the other corner, Dave Finley taking a heck of a battering from his wife, who's fuming at him for letting that ball go. Second to round five. Halfway through the bout now, as we start round five with Kincaid leading Dave Finley by one fall to nil and two public warnings against Finley, who doesn't seem to want to come out for the start of the fifth round. She won't give him his usual test this time. She's so mad at him, not talking to him at all now. <laughs> and he doesn't seem to be answering this at all at the moment. Need to put time posting. Find that one now. Finley just trying to get them. His opponent a little bit confident. He's up, but he's in trouble with that left arm, and he could get some hit from me immediately from this. As we can get that chicken wing on, he's nearly there. Those hands meet. He's got a submission. And he's got it. The, the hands of Matt. Yes, submission. The equalizing submission to Dave Finley in round five, just taking him one minute, 25 seconds. And round five, the equalizing submission goes to Superman, Fit Finley. Now the princess is talking to him now, all right? She's forgiven him everything. Yes, we're all right now. He's back in the game with an equalizing submission in round five. So three rounds to go. That's what you call it, round six. And Kincaid not happy in this corner because of that left arm. It's worrying him, and I think he's maybe not even going to continue. Peter Zakesh will let us know. I think that's it. Kincaid's trouble with that left arm but he missed on the posting, followed up his posting on Finley. Finley stepped aside and Kincaid got that shoulder right against the corner post. And I'm afraid that's it. So it's a technical Thank knockout. You. Finley the winner. At the beginning of round six, Kincaid fails to answer the bell. 
retiring through an arm injury, the winner, Pitch Marvellous Finley. And a very happy Princess Paula now. That was a chicken wing! Just got the equalizing submission. After Tim Cade's first fall in round four, but a technical knockout win because Tim Cade failed to answer the bell in round six. And with that, that's goodbye from all of us at High Wycombe. Have a good time. Till next time.